your authentic self is the expression of God. Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to another Coffee Time with John. And there was the final sip this morning. <laughs> there should be like a, a song that goes with the final sip. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are well this morning. It's been a great, great uh, evening for me. I've been really enjoying the rebuilding of my studio. I know it doesn't look like it's much different except for my, my the new picture on the green screen right now. But um, I wanted to uh, talk about being your authentic self. And sometimes when you're auth your authentic self, you're, you've got to stop and assess are these things my authentic self? You know, as I've been building out my studio, uh, as I build out my studio during the time of COVID, I was really going crazy, going down the rabbit hole of what a, of what a, uh, my studio had to be and what I needed within my studio. And I started creating and, and, and buying everything. I created the, this massive studio with all this stuff. And what I've discovered in the course of actually using my studio, I needed half the stuff. So I started purging it away. And as I purge things away, I find myself feeling more relaxed because I don't have all this stuff looming over top of me and all this stuff around me. I used to have these big giant umbrella lights that used to sit up here and they were... <laughs> They were lo looming over me. I felt like I was in a cave, you know, a well-lit cave, but a cave. And I found these 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 little lights that are designed to, they're only 10 inches around, they're circles, and they clamp right on the desk, and they're smaller, and I can I can see all the way across the room, and I don't have, I don't feel like I'm back in a, stuck in a corner anymore. I feel like I'm, I'm in a beautiful open office, right? I feel free. I feel like I'm not trapped in by by all of this thought and all of these, these rabbit holes that I went down to, to create things, purging things away, getting all of the, all of the things away back to who, who I truly am. Because your, your thoughts and the things you wrap around yourself can, can be the things that encumber you. It becomes the things that weigh you down, right? And for me, I, I had the belief that I needed all that stuff. You know, and I, I had a giant 4K camera and all kinds of stuff, and I, I ended up never using it. You know, people talk to me about my, 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 the camera that I'm using. People ask me about my camera all the time because they think it looks clear. And they're amazed when I tell them it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a Logitech C920 webcam. But the key really is not, not the camera. It's, it's the lighting and the... And the, the software I use to process the, the video. I mean, this is just a, a, a little C920. And when I jump over to my other camera, you know, this is also a Logitech C920. So these are, these are just basic, basic webcams. And so I got, I, I've stripped it down to not needing to go into a, a big camera with interchangeable lenses and multiple menus and all this stuff. I brought it down to the very simple, simplest method, right? I recently was in my head again, and I ended up buying myself one of these guys, these Osmo mobile gimbal things, right? And I was all excited about it. I started playing with it, and I, I realized I'm not going to go walk around and talk. <laughs> you know, if I do, I don't need to do that. I much prefer to sit down, relax, and have a cup of coffee with you, right? So, I, so what do I have? A return slip to Amazon, sending it back because it, it's just, it didn't fit right. It didn't feel right, right? So I'm about being my authentic self. Well, what is, let's talk about that. Your authentic self. Your authentic self is relaxed. Your authentic self is not in fear or anxiety. You're stressed out by all the things in your life that are encumbering you. Your authentic self is free. And it feels good to be your authentic self. You don't have to worry about people's judgments or anxieties that are placing upon you, their fears that they're throwing at you, those beliefs that you're supposed to believe, those shoulds that you should have. You know, I, <laughs> I often say, don't, don't should on yourself, right? 
All of those things are, are just the fears and the anxiety and the stresses of the world, but your authentic self is free. Your, uh, your authentic self is who you are. And even when I talk about like finding a, a romantic love in your life, first thing I say to, to you is stop looking for romantic love and start being you authentically so people can love you for you, right? The more free you are with who you are, the more the expression surrounds you. Now, check that out. God speaks to us in our feelings, not our thinkings. And all of those anxieties and stresses are coming to you from your thinkings. They're coming to you from your thoughts. I have to do this. I have to have the better camera. I have to have the bigger lighting. I have to, I have to, I have to. I need to do this so that I can get to the next level of my YouTube channel. I need to do blah, 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 blah. All the, all the stuff, right? But when you stop and you go, ah, I can do this with a, with a cheap webcam, right? I can do this with, with the, the simplest tools and techniques. And when you, when you look at it that way, it comes back to this concept of that just feels good to have it all simplified. That just feels good to not have this stuff and, and not be carrying around these shoulds and woulds and could haves. You know, it, it just feels good. It feels like love. And God is love. So your authentic self is a representation of God. It is living into God here on earth. It is being the expression of God on earth. And your authentic self, when expressed without fears or anxieties, understand, people say, well, I'm, I'm authentic self, and, blah, blah, and then, they, then they become a racist. or they become, you know, That's not your authentic self because all racism, all that negative stuff is all based on fears. The fears of them, those people who are different, those people, right? It's just fear. That's, that's not your authentic self. Your natural, authentic nature is to love and to be love. And the reason we know this is because you were born as a child who probably giggled and laughed and played with toys. And as you slowly got those beliefs and those ideas pressed upon you, you then your experience changed. And you stopped being your authentic self. You started being the beliefs of others. You started being, being the the representation of the positive reinforcement you got from certain people. So they, they gave you positive reinforcement when you said racist things, or they gave you positive reinforcement when you belittle you know, other people, when you knock down other genders. They give you positive reinforcement. So you're looking for the positive reinforcement. That positive reinforcement that you're trying to get is love. But when you love yourself fully and authentically, the people who will not... Uh, be in alignment with that love that of who you are will either alter who they are because they want to keep you in their life or they will self-eject. But then you have the ability to have the people come into your life who are loving you for you. you know, there's, a, there's a saying which was a very comforting saying after my last wife and I split and I, I don't even remember who actually said it but I love the quote. It says, when the wrong people leave your life, the right things start to happen. And, well, the wrong people are leaving your life because you are stepping into something different and you're not in, re in resonance with the wrong people. They're the wrong people because you're not being you. Well, you're, 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 you're some reason giving yourself up and they are attracted to the person that you're showing. Oftentimes people looking for a relationship are, are really just projecting need or want, and they, they, they attract someone in their life who can, who can fulfill their need or their want, but not necessarily their authentic self. They represent a, 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 a relationship that is enhancing life as opposed to being codependent because, because of the need or the want. So your authentic self is joyful, it's loving, it's caring, it smiles, it laughs, it dances. And that is an expression of God. That is an expression of love for not only you, but for the world around you. Because the more you express yourself authentically, the more you are showing God to the world. And God spreads out and people say, oh, I like that person. And then you, you grow and you expand and that vibration of love spreads out among all people, especially when you accept people for who they are, 
for when you accept people for their authentic self and recognize the fact that their authentic, authentic self is a representation of God in front of you. And that oneness of God that you both have in being your authentic self. You may have different interests. You may have different uh, thoughts or ideas about things. But that, that loving person who's being completely their authentic self is a representation of God in some form. And you can go, ah, oh, you know, that person's a, a, a musician who plays amazing instruments. But I'm, I'm an artist. I'm a speaker, you know, whatever you are. You're just another facet of God, but it is your authentic facet that shines so bright, that shows the colors of life, that shows the dance and the music of your world. Be that music. Be that facet of light. Be that joy. Be that you. Because you are God. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.